Ah, the mighty Mystios. You've proved yourself capable before. I could use your talents. One like you is always interested in more drachmi, yes? Payment is well and good, but I'm happy to help you. Tell me what you're thinking. I have an appetite for rare treasures. I've heard many veiled rumors and provocative stories, and I want you to recover some of these lost wonders for me. Tell me where to look, and I'll bring you these treasures. Have you heard of the mighty Ajax? One of Homer's heroes? Yes. He had a golden eagle feather, a gift from Zeus. And why do you care about it? It is a rare reminder of a glorious age, and so deserves to be in my grasp. Take these maps and see if you can find it. Where will I find this golden eagle feather? Different tales place it at different locations. I have maps showing where you might find it. What can you tell me about Ajax's feather? The son of Talamon was said to be a fearless giant. Some say the golden feather that gave him courage was woven into a shield crafted of seven ox hides. The shield is long destroyed, but Zeus's feather remains. I'll find this feather for you, if it's there to be found. Getting ready for something? Good. You're finally here. You mentioned something big is about to happen in Achaea. I've heard that the Tempest Chief Engineer is developing a new weapon. Natakas and I saw her try the weapon at the docks. It's not working yet, but it will be a problem when it does. He's trying to flee Achaea. If he does want to escape, 
Maybe we can convince him to help us defeat the Tempest. He's attending the shipbuilding symposium at the amphitheater here in Achaea. I can head over to the amphitheater now. There seems to be a discussion about a plan, a secret weapon for the Tempest. The chief engineer should have more information about it. Sounds easy enough. The answer to the code word, I am Poseidon's chosen. <laughs> sure. The chief engineer is amongst the attendees. Seek him out. That blade means a lot to you. Where does it come from? I forged it myself. But it's more than a blade to me. It's a choice. It takes skill to get so close to a target. <laughs> That's the point. What do you know about the Tempest? She must have been planted by Amorgus. I'm not familiar with the Tempest, but I wouldn't put anything past Amorgus. He's only ever had one thing on his mind. Lasting prosperity for Persia. No matter the price. What convinced you to help the stranded people, Darius? Uh, Natakis's heart is in the right place, and I want to encourage that. But the moment we're done, we're leaving the Greek world for good. I'll head to the amphitheater now and find the chief engineer. The chief engineer is here. But I don't know exactly who it is. Should be easy enough. The code word is, I am Poseidon's chosen. This looks like the place Darius mentioned. I do not speak of the paths you have all traveled to be here, though I thank you for coming. I speak of the noble history of Greek shipbuilding in this. I am Poseidon's chosen. Right, and I'm Ira's harlot. What? What do you mean, what? Go away. I'm trying to pay attention here. We have become masters. It is we. I am Poseidon's... Idiot. What? You're not his chosen, you're his idiot. I could hear you from here, pestering people. Who told you about me? A friend of mine has been asking around about you. We heard you want to flee Achaea. And we can help with that. Ah, such freely offered help often comes with a hidden cost. Not this time. I promise. Well, if the Tempest had sent you, I'd be dead by now. I need a way to defeat her. Like this weapon I've heard about. The Chimera's breath. My greatest creation, but also my greatest regret. I left before they could force me to complete it. Without my finishing touches, it will never work as intended. Tell me more about this secret weapon. What does it do? It's meant to engulf enemy ships in a torrent of flames. And it works extremely well. Installation is the tricky part, though. If done incorrectly, it backfires. Horribly. You worked with the Tempest. What can you tell me about her? She's a ruthless, emotionless creature. But the scariest part about her is her strategic brilliance. You'd be hard-pressed to find a more perfect commander. You said you want out of Achaea. Do you have a plan? The only way out is through the Tempest. Trust me, I've exhausted every other option I can think of. That's my wife up there. And now I've put her life at risk, too. You're taking a big risk by sharing your secrets with me. No. I'm betting on you to destroy the Tempest for me. Get your hands on the plans, and I can install the Chimera's breath on your ship. With it, you can destroy her entire fleet. I must do something to right this wrong. The Adresti is one of the best ships there ever was. It doesn't need extra weaponry. Against the Tempest? 
You'll need to be as prepared as possible. So, how do I get the plans? The Tempest's fleet commander has them. He's manning the naval blockade. While you're gone, I'll get to work. The plans are written in a code that only I can read. So even when we have them, it'll take some time. I'll meet you back here when I'm done. Good. I was wondering how we could clear the blockade. I'll take care of... to head back to the other field. I found the engineer. Look, boys! First the runaway engineer, and now the eagle bearer. Aren't we lucky? <laughs> lucky isn't the word I'd use. Oh, look who decided to show up just in time. Kill them! Kill them both! The Tempest is more shrewd and careful than we expected. We should warn the others. They might be in danger too. I'll have our Navas take a look at the plans. In any case, we shouldn't linger here. Back to the shadows then. I should find attackers. I saw you. Talking to my husband. I can help. The engineer's wife. What do you know about the weapon plans? My husband scattered code books around the hair. Some are amongst the Tempest's fleet and others are in the shipyard. With them, you'll learn how to build and install the weapon. Then you can end the Tempest and avenge my husband. 
I'll end the Tempest with or without your husband's weapon. Either way, he'll be avenged. He would be happy to hear that. There are plenty of ships in Achaea. What should I look for? The Tempest ships patrolling the harbor will be a good place to start. You said some of the code books are in the shipyard. Where is it? The Patrai military shipyard is the one at the edge of the city. I'll find those code books. Father almost killed her when they first met. If I hadn't stopped them... <laughs> really? Who do you think would have won? Um, I can handle myself. Good, we're all here. We've done everything we set out to. Now, to get the stranded people out of Achaea. The Tempest is on her way to install the Chimera's breath on the Skila. But we have the Chimera's breath now. The Tempest will never know what hit her. Without the Chimera's breath, she doesn't stand a chance. I am Poseidon's chosen, after all. What? We'll surprise the Tempest. Varnavas and I will launch a sea attack. Using the Chimera's breath to disable the Skila will be our best chance to get everyone off the coast. The merchant ships? The distraction should buy time for them to leave. Natakis and I will make sure everyone is on board the ships. This is our chance to leave Achaea. Darius is right, Natakis. You should be on those ships, both of you. They're your way out. What do you think, Natakis? It's our only chance. You have to take it. We will. We'll need somewhere to stay until then. Somewhere that won't raise suspicion. I know just the place. A house on the hill near Dime. Let's go there now. Look at this place. It belonged to a friend of mine. He tried getting out of Achaea, but he didn't make it. I need to prepare the others. See you too soon. There's something about this place. It's a beautiful place. Peaceful. I know. Too bad we won't stay. So, what's next? We'll probably keep running, as always. At least there's wine. At least there's wine.
shit. That's how I grew up. <laughs> oh, but seriously, your father is a very capable man. He is, but emotionally, he is hard to open up. It's hard to make friends for people like us. Living on the move as we do. Oh. We've met each other. To our friendship. To our friendship. <laughs> <laughs> Malaka. Malaka. This reminds me of when we met in Macedonia. We ate boar beneath the stars. It was the first time in a long time that I felt home. I haven't felt that since. Until tonight. Then let's make the most of it. I should find Darius and the others. The stranded people are probably at the docks already. That's what I'm looking for. There it is.
Give us another song! One fit for Apollo! Cannot win openly, we'll seize secretly.
notebook. I'll give this to Barnabas. Be the last of them.
Someone is following me. Probably the last I'll ever see of them. The last time I saw my Phil, we were arguing. We always did. I wish I had told her how much she meant to me, how proud of her I was. Now that she's back, I'm scared I won't recognize her. Real connections with people are rare, Cassandra. We shouldn't be too quick to let them go. I'm a Mystios. I can't afford connections. What's going on? A massive fleet has gathered nearby. They seem to be waiting for something, but we don't know what. The Tempest. This ship. These people. She knows. Somehow she knows. They're going to kill us all in one swift blow. We won't be destroyed. I'll sink every last ship. How? 
Barnavas, ready the ship for battle. And the Himera's breath. Aye, Captain! She's ready to go! Let's send this storm straight to Hades! Latakis and I can handle things here. Good luck, Cassandra. Arnava should be on the address here by now. I need to hurry. You need... Oh! I don't need anything! I've already destroyed your boat. Don't make me destroy you too. You! Amorgus told me all about the Tainted Ones. It is not your fault you were born as you are, but it is your fate to die like the rest. I will do what the Order needs done. Fila! <gasps> you! What are you doing here? There's so much I want to say, so many things. Please, give me a chance. You had your chance. You had years! I had to protect you. I was drowning. Who do you think pulled me out? 
You? The Order is my family. You are just a memory. My past. You'll never be one of them. You're a tainted one, Fila. What? I know what I am. Amorgus gave me purpose, guided me. I'm no monster. I am the Tempest. You're too far gone. You're Amorgus's puppet. Can't you see that? No. We might be tainted ones, but that doesn't make us who we are. No. I control my fate. I control my future! Please, Phila. Let's just talk, you and me. Forget everything here. Come with us. Cleda, don't! She's too far gone. She's not your daughter anymore. She's the Tempest. I'm sorry. Mission Tempest! It's the will of Amorgus! We are not your enemies, Fila. The Order think they can control you, that you are nothing more than an instrument who kills on command. Be more than that. Don't let them take away your humanity. Stand and fight! life for people like us. Only death. <gasps> I always knew it would end like this. Forgive me. I should never have. I'm proud of you. I always have been. Do you hear me? I've always been proud of you. You're my daughter. You always will be. We'll go sailing again, Mother. Just like we used to. Just like we used to. Father, the waters are open. We should get out while we still can. My little girl. Matters here. I'm right here.
Terrace and Atakas will be leaving soon. I should see them before they go. Terrace and Atakas should be safe now. Grigold can cause them no more pain. They can finally live safely. It's a good thing. You once told me of a dream you had, a simpler life, a small stall in the Agora, fishing with your son. I remember. Are you going to do it? I'm like you, Darius. Never could sit still for too long. sailing with or without you. It's now or never. Cassandra. Darius. So, this is it. This is it. Connections with people are rare. We shouldn't be too quick to let them go. Stay. I wonder if Darius has kept watch all night. Better say good morning. Thank <laughs> you. 
don't sleep, do you? The soft kiss of the breeze. The smell of the ocean. Why should I sleep? I'd miss it, Cassandra. I'd miss all of it. The hungriest warrior in the Greek world has ravaged our milk and bread supplies again. Typical Spartan stomach. His appetite may consume us all. More milk and bread it is, then. I'll go by the usual. Double. But here. I was supposed to pass these to the merchant, but I got carried away with the, uh... He has that effect on people. I'll deliver this for us and, uh, buy double the usual. The Agora should already be open. Be home soon. and bread coming right up. Say hello to Darius for me. Oh, uh, no thanks. Ugh, how could this fish be so stale? We live by the sea. Stubborn. Cassandra! How's my favorite customer? Tired. Hungry and tired. Ah, uh, it was the same for me. Enjoy these years. I will. I, I am. Anyway, here's what Darius owes you. We'll need double the usual. Milk and bread, please. Ah, uh, about the bread. I ran out of wheat. I was supposed to fetch some from the farmer down the road. Perhaps you could help me with that. For my favorite merchant? Anything. Thank you, Cassandra. I'll be back from the farm soon. It's not too far away. Ah, the wheat farm isn't far. This'll be quick. When's Elpidios visiting me? <laughs> Soon enough. The merchant sent me to pick up his wheat. Excellent. It's right there by the fence. Here you go, your wheat. I'll make the bread right away. 
can't leave my favorite customer waiting. Here you go. Bread fresh from the oven and milk straight from the goat. I'll see you sooner than I'd like to. This stuff won't last long. Sometimes I think Elpidios keeps my whole business running. <laughs> it's very possible. Milk and bread. Check. Better get this home. Place even a mysterious can call home. Hey, look who's home. my Elpidios? How's my son? He missed his mother. And she missed him. Promise me, Cassandra. This is our life. This is our home. Do you remember Macedonia? Of course. Walls of dust and flame, the huntsmen? I remember you, Matakas. Only you. Home isn't a place, it's people. It's us. As long as we're together, we're home. You know, Elpidios, that's where your mother grew up, Kefalonia. Right there. But it wasn't until I came here, until I met you that I truly felt home. Cleta and Fila on the beach that day, they couldn't escape their fate. It always ends in blood. My family ran for so long, but maybe some things can't be outrun. Whatever storm rolls in, whatever Amorgis and the Order are planning, I swear to you, I swear to our son, I will keep us safe. This fight we have with the Order, this war, it's not going to be won in my lifetime. Or yours. Maybe I was foolish to think it could be. But fate does not define us. Our actions do. Our little Leonidas spoke his first word today. What? I didn't hear. That's not possible. What did he say? Grand Pater. Or maybe he burned. It's hard to tell at his age. <laughs> <laughs> Who's my genius grandson? Who's just like his grandfather, Darius? Is there anything more beautiful than this? A simple life. Get word to Persia. Send the fleet. Send everyone. By your command, Amorgius. I'll see you soon, old friend. A letter from Darius. Says he's hosting a celebration in Lima. This I have to see.
curious. What was Natakas's mother like? My wife? Oh, that was very long ago. <laughs> she was stubborn, strong, beautiful. Natakas is more like her than me, fortunately. Has anyone come to bother you while I've been gone? No one father and I can't handle. Maybe we should move someplace safer. No, Cassandra. This is where we belong now. I will not let Elpidios live his life on the road like I did. Okay. Cassandra. There he is. I heard you coming, you know. I wasn't trying to sneak. Mm-hmm. It's good to see you. They've missed you. You know there's nowhere else I'd rather be. Adventure calls to people like us. For so long, my purpose was Persia. She was all I could see. But a parent's duty is not to their ambition. It's to their family, Cassandra. <sighs> How's my boy? Oh, he's in terrible danger, Cassandra. Elpidios is missing. What? <laughs> oh, <laughs> they're playing hide and seek. Again? You know, it was Natakas' favorite game too when he was Elpidios' age. How are they? We've been getting used to being in one place. It's harder than you think. Heard anything about the Order? Nothing, no news. After the Tempest, they've gone quiet. They're never quiet. Is Elpidios at the usual spot? <laughs> he loves that beach. Make sure you find the boy. I always do. After you, that is. Come, the beach is this way. You're still quite fast, Darius. Maybe you're just getting old. <laughs> Are you playing hide-and-seek with Elpidios again? 
Thanks for the tip. I faced walls of flame. The sky's black with arrows. And more beasts and blades than Heracles himself. But none match parenthood. It's a different kind of battle. You'll do fine, Cassandra. You are doing fine. Elpidios, be. Elpidios! Who is eh? Mater's coming to find you. Elpidios loves splashing around in the water jars. I wonder, is my little warrior here? Hm. Guess not. A tent! We used to sleep in one and watch the stars together. That's where he must be. Oh, no! Elpidio sure is great at hiding. This shipwreck looks like it can hide Elpidios and his pater. Let me take a look. Isn't Mater a mighty Mystios? She will surely tell tales of this epic adventure for years to come. Don't forget to pay the Mystios for her heroic services. Ah, my usual rate. Welcome home. I've missed you, my love. Both of you. our littlest warrior. Been on more of your famous adventures, no doubt. <gasps> A cyclops? Oh my. Huh, you slew how many Athenians? Impressive. <laughs> You're putting Vrasidas' record to shame. <laughs> oh, stop. How have you been? Safe. Feeling safe. Relaxed. Except our little warrior's appetite keeps growing. Greedy boy. Darius sent me a note. Something about the celebration? We figured it was time for a little family gathering. And it's not a family gathering without a great feast. Elpidios and I will prepare the boar, won't we? Boar? That takes me back. Cassandra and I will go look for some shellfish. We'll have the fire ready by the cliff. See you later, little warrior. Come, Cassandra. It's been a while since we've had some time to ourselves. Darius seems happier with Elpidios around. Grandchildren have a mysterious effect on people, but I'm surprised you can tell behind all that beard. <laughs> He'll be whatever he wants. He'll be more. He'll be our son. This is a nice 
is quite small. Pools are the perfect size for Elpidios. It's been a while since I had shellfish. Spending time with you like this is... I like this. Me too, Kisa. Me too. So... Do you think Elpidius looks more like me? Or like you? He's good looking, so... Me. Definitely me. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably right. Should do for our feast. You might have left some for everyone else. <laughs> Let's head back to the cliff before father returns. There's something I wanted to show you. The cliff is this way. With Elpidius around, it's been hard to get time together. <laughs> he gets that from his mother. Breathtaking. You said you had something to show me. <laughs> Maybe. Don't keep me waiting. We need to be quick about this. I haven't lost my touch, have I? It was great. <laughs> but this isn't why I brought you here. Ah. I brought you here to show you this. This looks like a charm of some sort. My mother gave it to me when I was a child. This will keep you safe. May it see you through any storm. She was right. It brought you here. I wish I'd met her. But now, I don't need it anymore. Atakas! I can't promise I'll always be here, but I'll do my best. And I'll do mine. Here he comes. Here comes my big man. Elpidios is hungry. Well, he's had a big day out with his grandfather Darius. Us. Elpidius can stay up a little later. He needs his rest. 
He's had too much fun today. I should come with you. We'll be fine. Say bye-bye, Elpidios. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> <laughs> Do you miss the excitement of living on the road? Or do you enjoy the quiet life? It's too quiet. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm used to the growls of stalking wolves, blades being unsheathed in the darkness. Dime is just too quiet. Enjoying being a grandfather? Children are wonderful, but to love so deeply is terrifying. Don't spoil him too much. Too late. This is it, Darius. A simple life. Mother's coming. Kotakas and Brithius, hold on. Artabanus, Cassandra, welcome home. Orondas? You are with the Order. He is the Order. Amorgus. I trusted you. Helped you. My friend, it's been far too long. We were protectors, Amorgus. Champions of the people. This is wrong. This is necessary. I take no pleasure in this. I needed to draw you in. It's you I want, Cassandra. You and your bloodline. Don't you dare touch him! Cassandra, go! You Get coward! Bring me your bones! 
Go! Get Elpidios out of here. We'll leave together. No. I will make sure the Order can't catch up to you. There's too many. You don't have to do this. We've no time to argue. Go! Think about the child. I love you, Natakas. Father, come back to me. Keep them safe. Promise me. I promise. Father, come back to us. It's me you're after. Here I am. Ha! You're done! I love you, your eyes out! Ugh! <sighs> 
Amorgus. Did you see him? No. The beach. You promised to protect them. You promised to keep them safe. I should have stayed behind. I sh should have been with them. <laughs> it's my fault. I did this. We're supposed to pay for our pasts, for our mistakes, not our children. There's no sign of Elpidius. But he's still alive, that is. I know it. If the Order have him, we can find him. you love before how how did you survive who said I survived The Order think they know pain, but I will teach them. They think they know hurt, but I will show them. They think they know fear, but I swear to you, Natakas, I will bring them terror. I'll find our boy. I'll bring him home. Trust me. Sandra. By the gods. Oh, 
I am sorry. The Order did all this. This weaponry they brought would make even Ares turn his head. There's only one place in the Greek world that makes anything like it. Messenia. They came for us. For me. If the Order is in Messenia, that's where I'll go. <laughs> 